Well, Greenland is very complicated because in some ways it is threatening because it's melting from above as well as below. The Antarctic ice sheet is, is really uh, too cold to melt from above, and it's the ice shelves that are allowing ice to discharge more rapidly. But uh, Greenland is complicated because now we've, the weather patterns have changed in the last few years, and we've been getting more snowfall on Greenland, which partially compensates for the faster melting. And of course, we expect more snowfall. As the atmosphere is warmer, it holds more water vapor, and that increases uh, precipitation. But uh, on the long run, of course, as the planet gets warmer, ice sheets get smaller. Uh, it's, but it's difficult to predict the balance between the snowfall increasing and the ice melting faster. I would not be surprised if Greenland had a longer time constant in its response than Antarctica. On the other hand, uh, there are feedbacks that come into play on the surface of Greenland that don't occur on Antarctica. And also we're making the surface of Greenland dirtier uh, from the, the pollutants, from fossil fuel burning, but, also, but mainly from more fires. Canadian forests are burning more. That makes the Greenland ice sheet darker. And so um, I also wouldn't be surprised if Greenland did turn out to have a short uh, doubling time for its mass loss of 10 to 20 years. So we're seeing an increase in surface loss from Greenland that we don't have in Antarctica. And that surface loss is, is accelerating. Well, <clears throat> it's, uh, it's highly time dependent. So in 2012, we had enormous uh, surface loss from Greenland. It, almost the entire ice sheet was melting because we had, for several weeks, winds from the south, warm, warm air. Uh, coming over Greenland. Now since then, uh, a few years have been, the weather pattern has been very different and we've gotten more uh, snowfall on Greenland. So it's, uh, it, it will depend on whether the climate changes, how they affect the weather patterns. Uh, but uh, in general, the continents are getting warmer and so we're getting more hot air over continents, and uh, some of that is going to go over Greenland, and it's going to increase uh, uh, melting there. 